Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this all new Toyota RAV4 Trail. Now, one of the most notable features that you will see with this new RAV4 is that two-tone color, but you also have some great features like power moonroof, as well as heated and cooled front seats, and you also have your blind spot monitoring. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this all new. Toyota RAV4 Trail. Let's get started. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at some of the exterior features just so you're a little bit more familiar what's new with the uh, all new RAV4. As you can see, it's got a new redesigned front end giving it a much more aggressive stance. You also have your daytime running lights with your fog lamps. And then taking a look over on the side here, you have your unique 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels. And taking a look up top, you have the integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors. And if we take a look on the inside of the mirror here, you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now, with the blind spot monitoring indicator, it'll actually light up just alerting you that there is another vehicle right beside you. You also have the smart key system with it as well. And just to give you a much better idea of what's it, well, what it looks like in the second row here. As you can see, new designed interior as well, but you also have some increased leg room in the back there making your rear passengers a bit more comfortable on the ride. Up top here you'll also find your roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is black. And to start off with we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. You have a black leather interior, your seat surfaces with your accent stitching and you have your power driver seat with lumbar support. Now as you can see the stitching color is also accented inside here as well and you'll see it uh, more inside the vehicle as well. But down below you're going to see your automatic headlights, heated steering wheel and your power lift gate release. And on the inside of your driver's side door you'll see the mirror controls, window locks, power locks and window controls. Now with this uh, new RAV4 as well, a couple of things have changed here on the steering wheel as well. Instead of the cruise control being located just down below in the corner here, it's actually located up top here with your lane departure alert mode select and seek function. And then over on your left hand side, you'll see the scroll function for the multi-informational display, Bluetooth connectivity, volume control, as well as the voice recognition. Now you do have that push button start, so all you have to do is push your foot on the brake, hit the push button and it will start up for you automatically. Now, taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different options on here. So taking a look up top, you have a digital speedometer. But the cool thing is, if you're, uh, uh, you like to travel quite a bit from uh, Canada to the United States, uh, you take a look up top there, you have your kilometers an hour as well as your miles per hour up there as well. So when you're driving, you can actually take a look at your miles per hour just if you're in the States, just to make sure that you're not speeding down the highways there. Now, taking a look through the display here, you can see it's changed up quite a bit as well, giving it a much more unique styling. But as you can see, you can take a look at your lane departure alert, audio, trip info, your all-wheel drive, and then you also have your settings menu with your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, and you also have vehicle settings and settings as well. Now the cool thing is that you can actually change up the settings in here as well. So if you hold down the settings here, you can change up the measurements through here, the pop-up display. You can adjust things if you don't want the um, audio uh, to interrupt just uh, when the phone goes off. And then taking a look through here as well, you have a couple of other additional features inside here as well, where you can change off the all-wheel drive, as well as change up a couple of other additional features in here as well. Now if we go back out here again, go back up into vehicle settings, you can also adjust your power lift gate settings through here as well. You have a digital clock, and then taking a look just down below here, as you can see it shows up just down at the bottom there, you have an exterior temperature gauge as well as a couple of other additional features. Now, if we take a look here as well, the center dash, you have the touch panel display as well as a couple of other additional features inside. In the main menu screen, you'll see your audio phone apps as well as a couple of other additional features. Now with the apps feature, it's part of the Entune app suite. 
So it's been added into the RAV4, so as long as you have the Entune app suite on your phone, you can use such apps as the Scout GPS app, or if you want, you can check on local fuel prices or on the latest sports scores, just depending on what your uh, needs are for. You also have the XM satellite radio on here as well. Dual zone climate control settings, and then you'll find the heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and passenger just located down below here with three different settings, depending on how hot or how cool you would like it. Traction control on and off. You also have the wireless charging pad in here as well, and as you can see, the orange has been accented on the inside here as well. USB and auxiliary input and your power outlet, so once you have the pad turned on, you can just place your phone on top and have it start charging just while you're driving. Now, it's now matted to a 8-speed automatic transmission, and taking a look just down below here, you're going to see the different modes. Now, the different modes, when you actually swap through them, will actually showcase on the multi-informational display here. So if you go into eco mode, it'll show up green, and then into your sport, it'll show up red. And then when you switch back to normal mode, it'll just go back to the regular screen that you had before. Now, with the trail edition, you do have that mud, sand, and rock uh, dirt capability that you can uh, cycle through on here. You have the snow mode, downhill assist control, and as you can see, it's more accented on the cup holders here as well with the orange color. And if we take a look up top here, you're also going to see the SOS safety connect, so in the event you're in a collision, you're unable to respond, emergency services will be sent out to you right away power moonroof controls, sunglass case holder, and I'm just going to put this into reverse just so I can show you what the backup camera looks like. So as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines on there, making things much easier for you when you try to back into a stall. The other nice thing is that you can also change up to a more dynamic view just if you want a little bit more um, view behind you just when you're backing out. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now, with this all-new RAV4, you also have a redesigned back end as well, giving it a much more up-to-date look. And as you can see with the trail, you have the blacked-out emblem as well, just on the RAV4 as well as the trail symbol. And you'll find your backup camera just on your left-hand side and your rear hatch release located underneath your Toyota emblem. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up for you automatically. Now. Taking a look just in the rear cargo space here, you have an additional uh, 33 uh, liters of volume in the back here, which is definitely helpful, especially if you do go on a lot of trips and you do need the cargo capacity. However, if you do need some more additional space, you can actually fold down that 60-40 split rear seat, just in case you don't have any additional passengers. Now, taking a look just underneath the floor, You'll find the spare tire as well as your jack and toolkit. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. You also have the tunnel cover in the back here as well. So if you do need to cover up your valuables just while you're going from place to place, you do have that availability for you. Now you also have the power adjustable tailgates. So in the event that you do need to readjust the height for yourself, hold down the button for approximately two seconds at the height you'd like it at. It'll beep a couple of times and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the site for you. However, if you need to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button for more than four seconds. It'll beep several times, and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height for you. Now, a couple of uses for that power tailgate is if you're a little bit shorter, or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you do have any questions on the all-new Toyota RAV4 trail, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you do have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.